Hello, Dave here. Welcome to sunny Scarborough, Mud Foot Heaven. This little uh, St Nicholas Cliff we are in Scarborough. So I'm sat when I was sat about well, three years ago almost when all this kicked off with mud flood. Uh, but it developed over the years and that was the building that started me off, the one in front of me, the Grand. It was a, you know, a year's investigation into quite a lot of things basically proving that the Victorians didn't build it completely you know there was a lot of the structure that was already there but I'll get round to that a bit later on but one of the things that first caught my eye was this beautiful place I'm going to show you now it's a Tracy Savage uh, art studio it's an amazing place but as you'll find out as I'll have a little walk around here as soon as you go around the corner here you'll actually see the front doors to a, a shop it's a bay window that's well below street level now the beauty that i've had with this subject is the people that have helped me along the way you know people that have seen me videos and commented and there's one chap mr slither he's uh, he's helped me a few times you know gathering pictures that uh, otherwise i can't get because i don't live here and one of the beauty things that he did find out for me and i've just been in this place to double check it but talking about mud flood and low levels now as we come across this lovely shop here what you can quite clearly see if we go down there you can actually see the doorway it's a big bay window it's a doorway that if you open that doorway as i found out where i'm actually stood now is an underground space now the underground space i've just been in the shop to check it's uh, just toilets but uh, it it sparked an investigation around here into the other underground spaces now what i'll do uh save wasting a lot of time i'll cross off and i'll show you what i'm on about regarding underground spaces around here i'll catch you in a bit right back onto underground spaces that i've just been on about one of the things i have a a thing about is manhole covers i've had my suspicions about this green for a while I've seen a lot of people that have done research. When you have these sort of, what are called pre-reset buildings, and you have these greens in the middle of them, it's all suspicious for underground spaces for me. Now I'll possibly see if I can, I'm not going in there, but, well that's all men. No it won't. But anyhow, then manhole covers there, they're pretty well locked down, uh, bolts, as well as manhole cover key. But what, you know, this chap done, Mr. Sliver, I was talking about these, I think, one day, and what he's done, he come and had a look for himself. I'll just show you down here. Because one of the things I've heard over the years is about the huge underground shelter that there is here outside the Grand down this end. Now, what I'll do here, if I can see it, the zoom's not working properly. That one all cover there, the far corner has a chunk missing. So what this chap did, uh, he took his camera down, he took a picture, and I'll put it up on the tip right hand corner here. Uh, and what you can actually see with that, it's not just a normal mile or couple where it goes down the drains. You can clearly see the steps leading down into an underground compartment here. Now, 
the way that that brought me down, as well as one further up the top, I would think there's quite a huge space under here. Now, what I did notice, this is flooded right up to the top. So whatever is down there, if you can imagine a large volume of water that's uh, just presently below our feet here. But these are things, you know, you could write away at the council about, and I very much doubt whether you get any reply. I'd say I'm just a serious around here. Uh, that's usually the place I stop. Uh, but yeah, it, it's really great, this part of Scarborough, because you can go right along there. Right along, every one of them are wood loaded, and you can actually see the tops of windows there, where they disappear down by your own road level. And that makes no sense at all if you're building a building, you know, to, to bury your first half. You know, crackers, that's what they expect us to believe, anyway. Right, I'm going to move on a bit and see what else I can find. Oh, there we go. I've on the beach. Catch you later. Bye.